what is going on YouTube I'm back here to show you some good stuff all right we got uh, just finished doing tie rods and ball joints on my truck 08 Cummins mega cab oh that's dark get that better all right yeah sorry about that uh, we just finished I spent all day putting on joints and tie rods and whatnot uh, it was a pain in the ass it was a bitch nonetheless uh, I finished it up only thing I gotta do now is get an alignment and that's it it should be good so I can show you right now all right so if you look down here we got new drag link going across got new nuts new zerk fittings I greased them already the boots suck so they already it's already spewing out and stuff uh, I greased the this, I only did the driver side or the passenger side today and I did the driver's side not too long ago. So, and that's it. I have to get in alignment bad because right now the tires are pointing straight and the wheel, the steering wheel is like fucking 90 degrees off. So, I have to finish that. Uh, looking over here, this side's good. It took a long time. The hardest part was that piece of shit pushing out the upper and the lower. Uh, ball joints was a nightmare. I will have a link in the video of um, the video I used to help me out with it. Plus, the kit I was using was a P POS, so I wasn't able to fucking I had to improvise and push it the fuck out. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I drove it through the car wash the other day, give it a little clean down. Sorry about the wind, if there's any. Uh, yeah. She's a little dirty right now. I got grease and dirt all on the side and stuff, like right here. I gotta take care of that, get it cleaned up. Uh, come inside, stupid chime. All right. So, pretty much, that was all I did. It was, it was pretty shitty, trying to get it done. But I was able to get it done still. Oh, here's the steering wheel too, by the way. That, yep, that is sideways. So there's only one shop that uh, there's only one shop that will do an alignment for it. I have to contact them tomorrow, see what's up with that. I think it's like 120 or whatnot because I can't take it to like a Firestone or I don't know, Tire Kingdom or whatever the fuck. I can't take it to places like that, so I have to pay these people to align it. I need to get it done bad because I have a road trip coming up on Wednesday, cross country actually. And the last thing I need is to have a sideways steering wheel. Uh, as for drive wear and like how it drives and performance, it's actually not bad. Uh, I went with a brand called XRF. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna say they're as good as Moog. I know Moog is really up there unless you get into like performance uh, joints and stuff like Carly and whatnot. But when you when you think of Moog, think of like OEM, if not a little bit better. Um, they're pretty good. A lot of their stuff's high quality. I haven't. I wasn't even able to finish the sway bars and the sway links. I have new uh, sway bar bushings and new sway links. I still have to put on back there in that box. I have an upgrade coming. It wasn't really an upgrade. It's more like an upgrade slash replacement. But I think it's gonna look nice on the build. I'm gonna have that in another video coming up. Uh, hopefully either soon or in a week or so. I just got a lot of stuff going on between work and family and whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, earlier, now a lot of people were probably gonna talk shit about me for this, but I needed to get it needed to get done and I didn't have the time slash the patience to deal with it, but pretty much AC went wrong. I'm about to turn solid my phone. I'm trying to turn my phone on silent. Keeps going off. There we go. So what else, like I was saying, uh let's see, I'm turn it on. I'm gonna start to sweat. So like I was saying, uh I it had to get done what I did. Uh I had to take it, I took it to an actual an actual Dodge dealership to get it done. Uh reason why I took it there was because if anything happened with me cross doing uh, move cross country, going different states and whatnot, if anything happens, no matter what state. It's covered. It's good. I can just pull it, take it to Dodge. They'll fix it. Uh, here is my receipt from Dodge. I got my AC fixed, uh, pretty much. Uh, and I found this out the hard way on, uh, I 
guess third gen Rams. This is or third gen Cummins, like 02 or 03 to 08 uh, Rams. It's common for their uh, blend box, blend door, for pretty much controlling which which way your air blows and stuff. Mine went out. Uh, the whole, complete lower side had to get replaced. They had to take the dashboard out completely, steering column, everything, uh, remove it all, fix it, put it back on. Now it's blowing super cold. It feels good right now. Before when I was driving, left side would not get cold at all. Right side would get kind of cold. Now it's like I turn it on, 30 seconds later, once the truck's running, it's like ice. Uh, I'm, I like it though, it's good. So that's done. I paid 1,700, well, I paid 1,500 with parts and labor. Parts were only 600 and labor was 1,100. I paid that about 15 16 inch for the, for the AC but then on top of that I had a problem with the tire pressure monitor sensor like continually is going off um, my when I bought the truck last December the man said that it was just a sensor that needed to be replaced and once you change it it'll go off so I was like all right that's no no biggie weeks 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 go by I'm driving and every time I get in I start the truck I hear that stupid fucking chime and it would piss me off so I took it to them to try to get it looked at I took it to Dodge back to Dodge get a look at they were like yeah you got one sensor back and I was like all right we'll change it well it's 125 fucking dollars so I paid that got it changed they were like uh the lights can go off after 15 miles of driving that's what Chrysler said I was like cool Dr drove it 200 300 miles lights still on I'm like okay I was busy with work and and a bunch of stuff so I wasn't able to take it back to them right away but then being in Southern California it's starting to warm up now you know the highest it got so far was like 85 uh, in San Diego I need AC like it's hot as fuck especially where I'm going to North Carolina from the south like I'm from Florida originally but and it's hot as hell right now but going over there to the east the southeast you need AC um, so I just bit the bullet and it had to get done if you look here all right so Oh, let off. Look here. You can see what I got done. Uh, this one, I, I think that was a recall. They fixed the airbag recall, so that's not relevant. Oh no, here it is. So I got my airbag recall fixed also for the passenger side. So if you got a, a third gen Cummins and you're not sure about a recall, check it out. You might have one. All right. No, don't, want, don't want nobody dying. Uh, recall got done. That was free. And this is where this is where shit got fucking nasty. All right. So you had the tire pressure sensors, right? So the module, the control module went out. That was 190 right there. All right. And then now with the AC was a big ticket one. All right. So looking at everything, looking at everything here, there was a lower heater unit, actuator, housing, seal kit. Uh, that all the parts came out to. Where's it at? Hmm. I'm trying to find it. It's probably right in front of my face. Oh, here we go. So right here it says labor nine ninety five. Looks like parts were about four eighteen. It comes out to about damn near fifteen. All right, plus the three thirty right there. I end up paying out the door. Back to the front seventeen ninety. But AC's fixed. It's cold as hell. I love it. Uh, it's warranty for two years. So if anything happens, you know, whatever, I take it back to them. They'll fix it or tell me what else is broken so I can pay to get that fixed because that's a common thing. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm super dirty still because I I just got done with this. I still have to finish my sway bars or the sway bar bushings. I have to change out and I have to change out the sway links. Uh, if you look at the rubber grommets, they are fucking shot. I will. I'll show you guys in. Uh, later on how they look and whatnot, but I still have to get that done other than that. That's it so far uh, I'm just trying to get the The basic stuff done before I start digging into the engine digging into the you know Exhaust whatnot all that all that crazy good stuff, you know I, I want to do it bad, but uh, I want to be able to ride in a comfortable truck at the same time, too I know it probably doesn't help that I have two inch uh, the two and a half inch two inch blocks in the front instead of just like the full-out spring but at the same time it's like it, it can ride better so it already rides really nice right now I greased all the fittings and stuff it's a huge different uh, XRF come parts come with a three-year heavy-duty warranty I could have got the lifetime warranty parts it was an extra hundred bucks but I didn't feel like spending that because I'm like well as long as you're greasing you grease your you grease your joints I can't talk as long as you grease your joints every oil change like like how it used to be back in the day where it was an oil change and lube i.e. the lube was lubing your joints 
These joints should last a very long time unless you're doing some crazy shit like fucking off-roading or running things over and you ain't got no business doing. But nonetheless, I think I can get a lot out of them, you know. Uh, I got an oil change dude too. So if you see here, I don't know if that can pick up. motor oil, I got some Valvoline, and a Cummins oil filter I got to put in, uh, I still got to do that, my road trip is Wednesday when I'm doing my cross country, I will record some of that, my best friend's flying in from Florida out here, so we will be recording some of that uh, road trip, you know, just bullshit, nothing crazy, ain't gonna be a whole lot, but it's something, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it though, alright, uh, Thanks for watching. Like if you like the video. Subscribe if you like the channel. Uh, links are going to be in below for parts. Uh, who I went through, you know, whatnot. So if you guys got questions, comments, whatever, drop a, drop a message in the box below. And that'll be it. Y'all take it easy. All right, out. changing out my headlights right now about to go over here and change them I'm doing gonna do tinted oh, let me look at that boy. these are uh, the bulbs I'm doing they're not HIDs but I'm gonna give them a shot all right I'm doing both sides because these headlights suck because one of them is out uh, in order to take off the headlight it's super simple two 10 millimeters here and then if you come over here and pop this piece of crap off like that. There's one, boom. Is that it right there? Yep, that's it. There's one right there. All right. So I'll be back once I do the swap, and then when it gets dark tonight, I'll show you guys how it looks with, uh, at dark. All right. Boom. There she is. Look, clean as hell. Once the sun goes down and it gets even darker, I'm gonna take another video. Yeah. yeah. I think that came out pretty good. What do you think?